Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, Day 25. So recently we've been working through opportunities and document management, and I wanted to show you today, I have a lot of questions uh, that come to me and then I see on Facebook and other places where uh, you have a buyer and a deal bust out, or a seller and a deal bust out. And am I supposed to archive or lost the opportunity and start over? I wanted to show you today a way that you actually don't have to archive or start over your opportunity. So we're going to click on the opportunities applet and hear the handshake. We're going to go into the applet, the, uh, excuse me, the opportunity we've been using. And so we're going to click on that opportunity. We're going to come over to the documents tab as we have the last few days. And you'll see we've got our three folders that were created when we chose this checklist. When we choose the under contract folder, you can see here are all the document placeholders. We loaded a couple of documents over the last couple of days as examples. Now this is our version one, if you will, of this set of documents. Now let's say the buyer put in the offer, it got accepted, we got through inspection, something came up and we're busting the deal. It is still the same buyer, right? So now we need to put in another offer with another set of documents. So in order to do that and keep the opportunity open, essentially you're just gonna click on this little arrow. My friend Kelly Finnegan calls it the carrot, right? Next to under contract, there's an arrow down here and you can click on it and then click on add version. And so in this one, you would change the version's name and maybe the first one was 123 Main Street. This is 123 Elm Street. <clears throat> We're gonna click on create new version. And now you can see we have a clean slate right a checklist of placeholders that are not filled in any way shape or form and so we now have a new custom folder we've got right all of our stuff is set up so that we can now go back in and load in these documents now know that we are still connected to the same room or loop so if you were creating a new room or loop obviously that might create an issue but if you were still going to use the same uh, room because the majority of those buyer documents may hold true. Now we're just doing contract documents. So that's basically a way. Now double check with your market center. I do know some market centers have preferences, uh, especially their compliance coordinators on how they like to see this. Uh, but typically <clears throat> we would not want to archive or mark an opportunity as lost when you're still working with that same buyer because that's going to impact your conversion ratio numbers uh, in your report section as well. So that's it for today, day 25, how we create additional versions. So here was version one called under contract. Here's version two. If it's a really hot market and we bust out again, we could add a third version, right? So you can see there's V3 and we could have another set of checklist documents. That's it for today, guys. Hope everyone's having a fantastic Wednesday. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.